but that did not end up equally. We had another question, and that question was, was it advisable, was it advisable for the police department to release this booking photo considering the circumstances surrounding that case? Traditionally, when booking photo requests have been made, the department generally does release booking photos when a media representative has asked for the release of a photograph. But that generally involves somebody who has been arrested by the Federal Police Department and is in Fullerton's custody or in sheriff's custody. And generally speaking, the department has responded by acceding to that request. For our group, it's generally a, a, a proponent of transparency and release of that information. But in this case, circumstances have changed by the time the request for the booking photo has come out. By that I mean we no longer were talking about and the public was no longer talking about and the media was no longer interested in a 2009 arrest of Mr. Thomas. What they were looking at was to try and develop information surrounding Mr. Thomas who was fired by them and essentially a potential victim of police brutality. That is a different situation. I think, in our view, the calculus about whether or not to release that photo should have been different. In our view, we think that consideration should have been given before releasing the video to these other factors. We think that perhaps the family should have been brought into the discussion before the booking photo was released. All that being said, there is no current written policy at Fullerton regarding this issue. And one of our recommendations on going forward is 